Hey everybody, this is Limitless KRGN and we're doing another Toa review this week and this is from Tokusatsu Mecha Collection and this is the Toa Chronicles Value 2 and this is from 2004 and this is the 50th anniversary from 1954 to I guess 2004 and this is the Type 90s or 90 Mazer Ray or Laser Cannon and this is, if I'm not mistaken, this came out in Godzilla vs. against Godzilla, uh, well, Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, the early 2000, if I'm not mistaken. I think maybe also came out in Godzilla SOS, like, like part two to that one. But this is, um, I mean, like the third or fourth version of this Mazer Cannon that he, like, that keeps, you know, evolving over all the Godzilla movies over the years. But yeah, so this is a line that came out from 2003 to 2004. This is the second wave. Um, they did all these crazy little uh, vehicles. Uh, you can see that from from different movie parts that came out. Not even just Godzilla, just Toa in general when it comes to kaiju movies and some of them. So some of them you probably don't recognize because they, from other movies I still haven't seen I really want to see. But yeah. Uh, so uh, of course I tell you how much I got it and where I got it in the video. So let's actually get a, let's get a better look at the vehicle itself now and yeah. Alright guys, so let's actually get a better look at it first. Let's start with the pulling part of the vehicle. Uh, this one has less weathering or any less, I feel like it has a little bit less paint compared to the to the original uh, laser cannon laser. Uh, but yeah, so you can see, better look at it. Let's zoom in. As you can see the detail and everything on that, but yeah. It still, it still has a not that bad when it comes to like the mold on this. I just want to, I'm definitely going to weather it more, give it more depth look to it. But yeah, and now let's look at the like, the cannon itself. Again, the cannon, it's similar to the, like this, it lacks uh, paint compared to the other one I have. It just has way more nicer detail. I'm definitely going to have to weather this one, and then especially the tires. I don't like the whole plain dark black, because it just doesn't stick out like that. I'll just give it like it's been, you know, scratched up a little. So you guys can see a better look at it. Now mine is pre-owned, so it's already set up. Usually these come on in like a little plastic bag and you know unassembled, like there's some pieces that are unassembled, but but this one's already pre-owned, so but yeah, alright, so this uh so this by itself is just one huge place, pretty much a chunk of plastic or I don't know kind of plastic, but it's a it's plastic. The one that actually has more functions is the laser part. This actually moves to the side, like this, as you can see that. So it has that action. And then actually, uh, oh no, sorry, I don't want to break this. So pretty much to, let me move this to the side a little bit. So that side actually like it moves to the side. It has no, like it's not like a clicking thing. It's just like one piece with another piece kind of plastic kind of material. Uh, but we put it on, it does have, it's a little stiff. And it does, so the laser part just moves up like this and then has another joint right here so you can move like this and this actually this actually retracts and this you know detracts this retract. uh i do apologize for the sound you guys are hearing right now that's my turtles i have two bits <laughs> with sliders turtles yeah what it's funny one of them is actually named gamera and the other one's called uh Raphael. <laughs> one the one is called gamera one is called Raphael. Yeah, go figure but yes uh <laughs> That's, you know, reference of, you know, Kaiju and also Ninja Turtles, but yeah. So, um, I guess you can see like that. So, like, that's pretty much the function. So, the function is this part right here, and the part right here, I guess, the part of this bottom right here, and this part right here. And that's it. That's it. The only reason I like these because these are not technically proportion size compared to, you know, to the SH Monster Art figures, but they're still not that bad. So, if I have them displayed with, with them, they look pretty cool. Uh, 
this one, like I said, is it lacks a little bit less paint wise and detail compared to the original classic one that I also have from this line. And this part right here is, doesn't turn to the side like the other one does. I wish it did. It just gives it more of a cool look, it's, you know, pulsing and firing its laser psh, or electricity laser. Psh. But yeah, well, that's it. That's it. Um, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so let's talk about the good and the bad and where I got it, how much I got it. So honestly, for me, uh, I, I'm happy to have this to my collection to add to my Tokusatsu collection of Kaiju related stuff. Um, and part of that is, the, the you know, the the machines and the devices in the, sh in the movie, they did in the movies. And, and I always like this kind of like cool thing that he used in the movies. So it's 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 cool to have in it. And the, one of the reasons I really like this is because the proportion size is not that big so it doesn't really take that much space in your collection especially if you like I said I have a lot of SH Monster Arts figures and it just perfectly go with it. Now again it's not quite accurate size kind of compares to them because it's supposed to be smaller when you put them but still it looks pretty cool. Um, the only complaint I guess I have about this one is that the lack of weather paint. But other that I really do like this. Uh, like I said, I have the original first one, now I have this one. I hope, I wish that the company keeps making more of them because there's more lines of this device and I wish the, this kept going, but uh, I, they just said I get those two wave lines and that's it. They ended it and never continue it. Uh, who knows, maybe now they'll do it again. I hope. It was like a 50-50, but there's also part of me saying I doubt it. <laughs> uh, so, you ask how much and where I got it. So I actually got this through Macari. And so once in a while you do find really cool stuff at Macari. So you should definitely check them out. I got this for about 30 some About 36 $35. And then like another $8 shipping. So I paid. I paid me like 40 or 50 bucks With tax and everything together. Uh, that's understandable. Because uh, this is like a very small line. They came out. So not a, it's not really easily come by. And then we do see it. They're usually they're they're so they're selling about like fifty or sixty or eighty dollars up. Um, if you found this like through a seller or some a website through Japan, you probably can get it for a way cheaper price. I think Japan they usually go for about under twenty twenty dollars, but uh, just um, still think about shipping. That's another fifteen twenty dollars because right now because of the hot gas prices, uh, shipping prices for anywhere in the states or even international is more expensive. Uh, I know because I've been like ordering stuff in Japan and oh my god I remember like maybe five years ago it was way not it was not for five maybe like three years ago two years ago it wasn't that bad now it's the uh, shipping price is getting expensive and I also ship stuff too because I to like to help all my collection I also sell stuff too so you check me out my I do have a uh, eBay account I'll link it in the bottom, but if you are curious, because, you know, that actually that helps out with my collection, because it keeps my collection, you know, not getting too big, but not getting too small, just, right, you know, I'm a collector, but I also sell stuff. <laughs> so this is definitely must-have. Um, try to get it for a decent price. We get it for under 20 and props on you guys. Uh, it's just not easily come by, and when they are, they're, they're not that cheap. I got lucky, and like I said, even the Macari, even I got the Macari and I paid like thirty something, like thirty eight dollars. Or you know, it's still a little pricey for something like this small. So just keep that in mind. They're not easily come by. Uh, this is my fourth one in my collection of this two lines. But yeah, I'm happy to have this. I'm definitely gonna display this with my other stuff related to Tokotatsu, Kaiju, everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, this video is by fans for fans. That's my model. So um, this is Limitless KRG and signing out. And like I always say, any way to help the channel out, leave a comment, put a thumbs up, subscribe, anywhere to help the channel out. And I hope, and like I always say, keep collecting. And yeah, adios, bye.